name is Desiree with the astrologyaddiction.com and thank you so much for watching. So today's video is going to be a predictive technique to tell you who your might uh, who your next boyfriend or girlfriend might be. Now this is a general predictive technique in astrology and it will tell you the type of people that you might attract, the energy that you might be moving towards, um, you know, for the next year or two and often does describe, um, you know, someone in your life, someone very important, a romantic partnership and really just the type of energy that you're seeking. So this technique is called progressions. So it's your progressed moon that you're, we're going to look at and um, focus in on. So I have done readings on the progressed moon here on this channel and I've went through all 12 of the zodiac signs and described how that progressed moon might feel. And progressions are basically from the moment that you're born, your moon is in one sign. So for example, you have an Aries moon. Every year, or so that moon is going to be moving into a new sign um, by progression. So basically like year one that you're born, you will, you know, you'll, you'll have that Aries moon and it will progress into a Taurus moon. So that's the kind of experiences emotionally that you will be going through. Um, we'll be, you know, moving and transitioning from Aries into Taurus. So this really does tell you um, as, as you get older, the type of partnership that you're looking for and relationships. So that's why I do say that it's a good predictive technique to see who your boyfriend or girlfriend might be um, in the coming years if you are single and your progressed moon is about to move. So if your progressed moon have, has just moved into Aries, you will be on the lookout for a partner maybe that has their sun, moon, rising sign in Aries, um, some of those personal planets in Aries because that's the energy that you are being drawn to at this time. A passionate partner, someone who is kind of a hero, um, more of a masculine energy. Even if you're a man, it can be more of a hot, kind of fiery, passionate, lustful woman. Maybe someone who's a little bit impulsive and fun, exciting, um, you know, always wants to do something spontaneous. And that can definitely be where you're at emotionally. Um, so you can meet them, you know, meet them there and really have a good connection with that person. Now, if your moon is moving into Taurus, um, progressed, um, your progressed moon, that will be the type of person that you will be attracting. Um, a Taurus person, you know, again, sun, moon, rising sign or personal planets. Uh, a Taurus person is someone who's more stable, more consistent, someone you can rely on. Um, maybe someone who is financially stable, or has a good career, someone who values being at home, taking care of the home life. Um, you know, even someone who cooks for you or has some artistic talents in that way. Taurus is ruled by Venus, so um, just someone who makes your life better, fulfills you in some way, and gives you that companionship and consistency that you're looking for. Now, if your moon is moving into Gemini, um, this can be a time where you might be juggling more than one boyfriend or girlfriend because Gemini is the sign of two. You can have more of a tendency to be bored with just one person. You can want to kind of be around multiple people um, to get your emotional needs met. You're definitely very curious right now, wanting to learn, wanting to explore, try new things. Um, and you also need a partner that can communicate really well with you. There's a high level of mental rapport, flirtation, um, that kind of thing. Just more of an exciting and probably less emotional relationship or boyfriend or girlfriend um, will be coming into your life. Again, look to their sun, moon, and rising signs. Now, if your progressed moon has moved into Cancer, you're looking for home. You're looking for someone who feels safe, someone who feels uh, comfortable, makes you feel nurtured. You can look to their sun, moon, and rising sign. Uh, my progressed moon was in Cancer when I met my fiance. He is a Cancer sun, Cancer Mars, Cancer Mercury. So, you know, this is something you want to look to. Look to their personal planets. And you're really looking to find like a new place of home. It doesn't mean that you want to move necessarily. It can kind of uh, speak to that sometimes but you just really want someone that makes you feel safe and that appreciates you for who you are you might be kind of in a, in a time that you are wanting to really leave behind people that don't accept you for who, who you are um at the core you know you you've been through this gemini progress moon where you were you know learning and curious and kind of mutable um you know maybe even being like two different ways because Gemini is a sign of two, um, a little bit two-faced, a little bit fake to get what you want. Now when you move into Cancer, you're really becoming more raw and real and kind of sinking into your emotional needs and accepting those things. So that reflects the kind of partner that you want in your life as well. Now when your progressed moon moves into Leo, this can be a time where you 
might attract a boyfriend or girlfriend who is more dramatic, um, higher, higher level of romance in your partnerships. Uh, you want to look to their sun, moon, and rising sign. You want to feel appreciated and you want to feel like someone um, deserves you. You know, you want to be receiving gifts and being taken out and wined and dined and really given the um, admiration and appreciation that you deserve. You can be feeling a new level of confidence yourself. So you want to be with someone who is confident, um, who makes you laugh, who you know, plan special things for you guys. And romance is, you know, a big focus of your your connection with this person. So a Leo partner can can potentially come into your life. Now, when you have your progressed moon in Virgo, this is a time where the partner you might date, boyfriend or girlfriend can be a Virgo sun, moon or rising sign. You're looking for someone who helps make your life better. Um, you know, helps you with a new workout routine, helps you with a diet, helps, um, organize your life in some way. It can even be like a working relationship. You know, you meet someone at work or, you know, you're kind of over that romantic period of your of your life in a way where maybe you were just having fun, being lighthearted. Um, and now you're, you're kind of moving into a more mature phase where you want someone who can be a good teammate in your life and, you know, that you would definitely have a real mental connection with. So Virgo is also ruled by Mercury. This person can be um, more of a mental, you know, mercuri mercurial people person, but in a different way than Gemini. Gemini is more flirtatious, curious, wanting to know everything. Virgo is more focused. Um, so, you know, someone with a Virgo in their chart in some way can just be, feel more attractive to you because they feel like they have kind of it all together and they can help you to you know maybe get your life on track and even healing it can be a time where you uh feel a lot of personal healing and you want to be around someone who's very accepting virgo people when they're when they're in love they really accept the partner that they're with for who they are and they don't want to try and make them be someone else. Um, they definitely want to help improve them and help, you know, they see them as the best version of themselves, but they really do love the partner, uh, you know, unconditionally for who they are. Now, when your progressed moon goes into Libra, this can be a time where you're looking for more of a balanced relationship, a relationship that is more diplomatic in some way. You know, you're probably wanting marriage at this time, wanting partnership, seeking that, um, and that can be the kind of person you bring into your life, maybe Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Maybe someone who has some social status or some wealth, uh, Libra ruled, being ruled by Venus, you can be just attracted to more Venusian, beautiful people. Um, you know, you're not probably looking for someone that doesn't take care of themselves or um, anything like that. You want someone that can add a lot of value to your life, maybe even add status to your life and wealth. Now, when your progress moon goes into Scorpio, you can definitely tend to be attracting more Scorpio partners with maybe sun, moon, or rising there. You're at a time of um, intensity in your relationships. You want connection that is very deep and emotional, transformative. You want connection that is authentic. Um, you don't want really someone who is really like lighthearted. You want a deep, like enthralling, physical, um, emotional, just encompassing connection. So that can be the kind of relationship that you, you know, go towards as a person that might have those Scorpio placements that really lives in that intensity and can maybe help you navigate through that in a way. When your progress moon is in Scorpio, you, you can be going through a lot emotionally. It can be a time of high intensity with your emotional life, and that can definitely play out in your relationships with your partner. Um, they can have those Scorpionic kind of themes. Maybe control uh, issues can be going on in your relationship or manipulation even in some way. Um, you, there's, you have a real fixed energy about it, and you want what you want and it's really not anything superficial you want that raw real emotional connection now when your progress moon goes into Sagittarius um, this is a time where again you can uh, attract these Sagittarius sun moon or rising people boyfriend or girlfriend into your life um, because you're really wanting some someone to explore with you want someone to travel with experience new things with you want to kind of level up and go to a higher frequency. Um, and Sagittarius people, you know, they're fun, lighthearted. Um, they love to explore, have fun. They love to travel and, you know, have a kind of spontaneousness about um, how they live their life. So that can be very attractive to you right now and something that you 
you know, want to be around more. They're a fiery sign. They can be funny. They can be maybe not super serious. You know, maybe you're you're wanting something more, again, lighthearted and um, just, you know, not such a serious connection. You're, you're just wanting more of a fun, um, you know, union right now. You could even possibly like have a relationship with someone who is a teacher to you or someone maybe a little bit older. Sagittarius sometimes can be um, someone who has knowledge that you don't and you're kind of looking to learn about that. So uh, that can come into your life at this time. Now, when your progressed moon goes into Capricorn, you can attract a Capricorn sun, moon, or rising boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, these people are career focused, ambitious. You know, they're people who have a real way with like the world, you know, with the physical things in the world. They can build something. They want to build a life. They want to build a career, a future. They're very reality based. So you can really want that in you know, a partnership, more like stability, um, someone that's reliable, responsible, um, that you can maybe build a life with or a empire, if you will. You know, Capricorn is an earth sign and it's a feminine sign. So these people can also be quite sensitive, but you know, they're they're very strong as well. So you, you can want like, you know, someone that's strong and emotional, but a little bit stoic and kind of has their life together. Maybe they have a good job, a good income, and they're kind of no-nonsense people. Now, when your progress moon goes into Aquarius, you can be dating a, um, a sun, moon, or rising with an Aquarius placement uh, for your boyfriend or girlfriend. You're really looking for someone who is unique, um, out of the box, someone that doesn't really fit the societal mold, maybe, of what they should be. Um, you know, someone who is interesting, maybe has some interesting hobbies or a job that you are attracted to. Someone that you can have a re really great conversation with. These are air signs. So Aquarius is someone that is a little bit less emotional and more, you know, in their head a little bit more mental. Um, you can even maybe not want a partner at this time. Maybe want to be alone. Sometimes Aquarius, when your progressed moon goes in the, into that sign, um, you can be attracted to those types of people, but at the same time, not want to be tied down and not want to be kind of contained in any way you know you can really want that uh partnership that allows you that freedom that you're kind of seeking at this time now when your progress moon goes into pisces this can be a time where you might date a pisces uh, sun moon or rising for your boyfriend or girlfriend and you're looking for an emotional connection um you're looking to kind of break boundaries and really go deeper with someone you might, you know, move in really quickly with a person um, because you just don't want to have anything between you and that person. You want to just be together all the time. You want to merge. You want to merge your life. And it can be a very, you know, sensitive time for you where you're, you know, growing spiritually. Um, there might be a chance that you can even be manipulated a little bit because when your moon goes into Pisces um, in the progression, you can feel more selfless. Like you want to give more of yourself up for someone else. You can find yourself in these situations situations um, possibly where you are maybe not receiving as much from the partner as you're giving so you want to be aware of that but um, you can definitely find yourself with someone who has some of these Pisces um, symbols you know in their chart so I hope you enjoyed this reading this is for your potential next um, boyfriend or girlfriend depending on where your progress moon is and if you're interested in booking a reading with me or a relationship reading my link is in the description box please leave your feedback below and have a great day bye I should have been there, I should have been there, but I'm not going to